Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I'm a flight attendant with a major US airline and oh you guys, it has been, it's been a year. <laughs> Oh my my, it has been a year and we just are getting started. But also let's address the elephant in the room. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys know I lost somebody very near and dear to my heart. <sighs> Who means an awful lot to me. Um, you gosh. This is gonna be a hard video to get through. I'm not even going to lie. Oh God, you guys. I tried to do a get ready with me because I thought that would keep me from crying, but obviously that's not going to work. I wish I was bringing you guys something happy and exciting and that's just not the case this week. So I know I'm about to get emotional in this video and I've been like so emotional lately with you guys. Lots of crying videos. Y'all have just been getting a lot of crying videos in the last couple months and I'm sad to say that's probably gonna continue on today. Please ignore my skin. I'm trying new skincare products that I'm really actually happy with despite the stress and my skin kind of purging itself. Uh, this is spring water. Just because it's winter, I spray it with some water. I don't know if that actually does anything, but. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, you guys probably know that I lost somebody very close to me. I lost a best friend of mine. I lost a best friend of mine. Um, he was like a brother to me and he's, he's one of the most special people I have ever met. Um, he just had a spirit and I'm sorry y'all. He just had a spirit and a drive and just like an aura around him. Like when you were around him, like man, did he light up that room brighter than anybody I've ever met. Okay, I'm gonna try, <laughs> we're gonna try and cool this out. I really did think this get ready with me was gonna be a good idea. What a mess. Okay, he was fantastic. Um, we cheered together and at one point he even lived with me as well as many other friends who kind of took him in. So we cheered together and oh my God, he was talented. I will literally put in like clips. He was so, talented and just so fun and bright and exciting and then after high school he actually ended up getting into the military and i know like someday he really wanted to open up his own cheer gym he used to call it the dallas diamond so long story short he went to the military and he was serving his country and i was just so proud of that man he was a staff sergeant he was serving over in kuwait when there was a rollover accident and he lost his life it happened a little over a week ago and it's just been really hard like i mean he was only 28 years old oh great i'm crying and it's and it's just been really really hard on me as well as pretty much anybody who knew him. Anthony was one of those people, he didn't know a stranger. He's never met a stranger. He was just amazing. Oh, you guys, this is gonna be the worst. <laughs> I'm literally mixing in my tears with my foundation. This is literally gonna be the worst makeup you've ever seen in your entire life, goodness. Okay, that's just what it's gonna be. This is literally awful. But I, I guess let me get through Anthony's story before it ends up just even worse. So right now, um, his mom is still working with the military to get his funeral taken care of. We've tried to help me and some other friends as much as possible. We brought his mom over food the other day and just talked with her and just, Oh, it's just hard on everybody that's involved in this. And then because of COVID, it makes trying to plan a funeral even harder. And I'm sure many of you guys have probably lost family members due to COVID or due to other things while COVID has been going on. And I'm sure y'all understand the struggle of what that takes putting together a funeral, especially for somebody like Anthony who just touched so many lives and so many people want to say goodbye. It's just really hard. And God bless his mother. Like I can't imagine trying to grieve the loss of your son while doing all that at the same time. So it looks like it's still gonna be at least another week before his funeral and burial. I mean, it's just been really hard. It's been loss after loss. I mean, 
We just lost Bubba. We just lost Chip's grandfather. We just lost my nephew. It's just been so much loss lately. I think I'm over the worst waterworks now, so we'll get back into the makeup and kind of breeze through this really ugly makeup look I'm doing. I feel like this year already feels like 2022.0. Like, I don't know how the rest of you guys are feeling. Like, hopefully y'all's year is starting off better than mine. I don't know about y'all, but I literally just don't want to do anything. Like I've just been full out depressed. I don't want to get off my couch. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit there and sit there. But I mean, I'm a busy body and I've built a busy body life around me. I have so many jobs and so much work to do. And even taking off just a couple days to grieve ended up piling more work onto me. And so I'm like trying to basically play catch up right now but my schedule is looking so busy i really wanted to get a video up for you guys and i really just wanted to kind of push through the pain a little bit and kind of connect with you guys because i know i'm probably not alone here like i really know i'm probably not alone in feeling this way i feel like there's so much going on that it's like i just want to escape and i just want to take a vacation and and get away and just kind of i don't know leave everything behind that's really just how i'm feeling like i just need a break like a serious break that obviously i don't get to have because the lipsticks are about to come they're literally on their way so i'm going to try and turn it and burn it really really quickly so pretty much like as soon as i get the lipsticks here and do a quality check and get everything updated on the website i'm going to send out an email to everybody on my email list so if you're not on my email list go over to cat eye cosmetics scroll all the way down and there's like a little spot for your email and then go ahead and throw your email in there and you'll be added to my email list. So this time around, I'm going to try to get the video up with the shades and stuff early before I launch. That way everybody gets a chance to see all of the shades and stuff ahead of time because I know like last time everything else sold out so quickly that people didn't even get to see the video with the shades. So this time I'm gonna try to get that video taken care of like probably like a day or two before I launch. So if you are looking for lipstick and want one, be on the lookout for that video because pretty much as soon as like that video goes live, it's only gonna be like 24, 48 hours before I actually launch the lipsticks. But if you get on my email list, I will send out an email of a launch date and time this time, as well as if you wanna follow my Cat Eye Cosmetics Instagram, I'm also gonna be posting there a launch date and time so that way it's a little bit more fair play i've gotten so many more lipsticks this time around but i don't know if it's going to sell out again i have no idea i've been really trying to double down i have not expected the last like few launches to go the way they've gone so it just blows my mind but this time around i got the largest order i've gotten by far and i guess we're going to see how well this works just because the last time the lipstick sold out like four times as quickly like they sold out basically in 12 hours so I didn't want like the same thing to happen. So I doubled down on the lipsticks. It got even more. So we're going to see how this works. There's also going to be two new shades and stuff coming. But basically in a few days, I have to go take a work trip, but it's just going to be for a day and coming right back. And again, I have to work. So I don't know exactly how much like a getaway it's really going to feel. But honestly, at this point, I'll, I'll take what I can get. So I'm really hoping that that basically is going to kind of be just like a very short getaway. Like as much as I wish it wasn't for work and I wish it was so much longer. So I know like as much as I'm like, yeah, it's like a break from reality. It's really not. But I feel like I really will just take whatever I can get at this point. It's nice to be around people who understand what you're going through and understand like how you feel. I mean, it really sucks that something like this had to happen to, in order to like rekindle with some old friends. But at the same time, it's just been really nice. But I feel like in the last few months, especially just going through everything I've gone through, you really start to see like, who your friends are, who you think your friends are and who your friends actually are. Like who actually is there for you? Who actually cares about you? Who actually reaches out? It's been definitely eye opening because there was, because there's definitely people I thought cared more than they apparently do. And there's vice versa. There's people that I thought like, I don't know. I thought they was just like, it is what it is. And then they would be like some of the first people to be checking up on me every day. So it, it's funny how, you really kind of reevaluate friendships when something like 
like this happens and you just reevaluate the quality of people that you have and that are in your life and it's it's so like weird and sad but moving on to um other better news which is exciting we took the dogs to their first vet appointments the other day and got bandit's leg finally looked at i feel like that was a bit of blush it'll be fine i'm really not going anywhere <laughs> I'm getting ready to go nowhere. But yeah, so we took the dogs to their vet appointment the other day um, and we wanted to get everything checked out, do like a checkup, get bandits like looked at and everything. So we actually got really good news on that. The dogs are completely healthy, both of them, which was very exciting because after dealing with like so many medical issues with Bubba, it it's like nice to hear like when <laughs> when you have a clean bill of health it's like been a minute since um that's happened so as far as bandit's leg goes though they said basically it's it's his knee it's very prone in smaller dogs pomeranians but mostly small dogs or toy toy breeds is what they could said in general where the knee kind of slips out of place and that's essentially what's happening with his leg is his knee sometimes slips out of place which is why like sometimes he'll be limping on it whereas other times he's like completely fine and normal i think i'm gonna do like pinkish kind of colors this time but basically the vet just said that if his quality of life is affected by it so if he suddenly like doesn't want to play or doesn't want to walk or it just seems to really be bothering him then we're gonna do x-rays and have surgery because that was pretty much the only thing that that would be able to fix it but we're so fortunate that it doesn't seem like that's the case like he's the most playful curious sweet thing ever like his leg does not seem to bother him on a day-to-day -day. doesn't seem to really affect his life but also in other news i had um a scare for my job as a flight attendant so like i've kind of been updating y'all with we're all coming back like to our job in the airlines but like I've said before, is like you can't just like come on and like instantly get to start working. Like that doesn't work like that. So they have to bring us all back and kind of filter us through. You have to be like fingerprinted and background checked and drug tested and all that stuff again. Um, then you also have to collect all of your stuff and, and everything else. So it's kind of like a process that you really have to go through. So with everything going on in my life lately, I've kind of just been like neglecting doing some of that stuff i've been reading as many emails i just really needed to take a few days to myself which i feel like is reasonable but yeah you never realize like you don't really have a few days to just go to yourself like at the end of the day like we all still have bills to pay we all still have work we have to do and the longer you take off the more that that stuff chases you and catches up with you which i'm experiencing <laughs> right now loud and clear so i had taken a couple days off i really wasn't checking emails i really wasn't doing much of anything other than just chilling and so i was actually up on instagram and i saw somebody who was much junior to me they were actually graduated in class of 20 like they were one of the last classes to graduate before they had to send everybody home unfortunately due to covid and i know some of you who watch my channel are actually part of the people they had to send home because you all have reached out to me before which is really sad and i'm hoping that once like everything kind of calms down we get the vaccine out and things like that that they'll be able to bring you guys all back but i don't i don't know exactly how that's going to work to be honest i haven't heard any updates so i don't know if that's like wishful thinking or what but yeah one of the people who graduated who was like very very junior to me um suddenly got his like badge and was going to be fingerprinted and i freaked out you guys i was like oh my gosh i like missed the memo i've been like so in my own world i didn't even realize they're not going to take me back i had a full freak out moment where i was like i'm not coming back to my job anymore i missed the memo and, and whatever and i freaked out i was calling anybody i could i was like oh my god did i mess up like have you already been like background checked and whatever like i bugged I bugged I was literally like desperately calling people and then it turns out that I don't know exactly what happened I like contacted my manager because I like that's how scared I was I was like girl like did I miss it like am I not coming back oh my gosh she's literally probably like girl you're being weird <laughs> I'm just kidding my manager is a sweetheart yeah so I'm like frantically hitting everybody up and I'm like oh my god and then 
come to find out i guess i don't know exactly what happened but i guess like some people got done out of order because it was kind of rumored that maybe like if you went to a certain base that was like smaller they needed you more immediately but then i found out that couldn't have been true um because one of my friends that went to the same base as this person who was senior didn't get called back so i don't know exactly what happened i don't know if people went out of order or whatever but y'all i freaked out i was like oh my god what do you guys think the chances that i'm gonna be able to copy and paste this on this side <laughs> i feel like it's pretty slim <laughs> i always like have like two versions of the same eyeliner where they kind of look alike but also different and i'm like always praying that nobody notices but me are they the same no do we care also no <laughs> so basically long story short i really didn't miss anything but my god did i freak out about it i'm just like ready to get back and i feel like maybe that's like part of like some of the depression in this is just like losing my job but i've also gained weight i don't think anybody cares but me but just like the stress of everything it's just like really affected me it's like affected my skin it's affected my body it's just like i'm actually gonna wear my siamese lashes this one was already cut because um funny story i was sitting here getting ready and then i became a crying mess about anthony i had one lash on and i went to put the other one on and i could not find it but i finally just gave up and ended up getting a whole new pair of lashes and i was like i'm just gonna cut one and put it on there and then of course of course like two minutes after i put it on there i did one of these and i had like my robe on which a lot of y'all are asking me like where i get that robe that I, I i wear a lot and that one is actually from world market i was wearing that robe and i did something like this and y'all the lash was literally stuck to my sleeve it was so embarrassing all i kept thinking is girl if anthony could see you now he would be laughing so hard because you are a whole mess i feel like that applicator just makes it so easy to apply the lashes but how are you guys doing like enough about me like how how has y'all's year started is anybody else just like thriving can anybody share me some some good stories that's going on with you or are we all in this just the same boat as me 2020 the extended version the extended movie version with an alternative ending that's basically what this year truly feels like i forgot to flip this over so don't watch me this part should be on that side so that's wrong i really don't even know how to use my own cosmetics this is embarrassing <laughs> Okay, I literally have like every one of my lipsticks up here. I'm gonna do her. She seems to look all right with my eyeshadow. I totally forgot to exfoliate my lips. I love how like I'm doing this makeup look and I'm like acting like I've never put on makeup before. Like especially with my own products, acting like I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I actually could stop there, but why well, put high? Let's just keep going. I actually got a new lip gloss, so I'm gonna try this out and see if it's any good. Oh, it has like such a different kind of applicator to it that feels like super pepperminty and tingly hopefully the next video will be much more upbeat and relaxing and exciting and happy but if you did enjoy today's video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up press that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time bye